Hey, it's Random Code here, and today I want to show you a little program I created with Java, which is the simple web scraper application. So, a web scraper is just a simple application where we go on some web page and then get some information from the HTML. And in this case, I want to get some lists of New Year resolutions. So, I found this web page with like 55 of them, and I would then like to go through each of these points and just get them into a list in Java. So for my setup, I am inside IntelliJ and I'm then using Maven to set up what is called the HTML unit, which is a Java library that allows me to interact with the HTML. So how it actually works. So as mentioned, we would like to get this web page from a URL in this case, then bring it inside our Java application and we then like to query our data at some point. So there, as mentioned, two steps. We first get the web page, get the information and we query it get some kind of specific information, which in this case is our new year resolutions. First, I have a web client and HTML page object. I then have a constructor where I set up my URL. I then prepare my web page or my page by doing get web page information, giving it the URL. This then take the web client object and use this object to set some options. So no CSS, no JavaScript, and we then based on the web client, which just think of it as a web client, get the page with the URL, and then returns this URL page or this web page to this HTML page object. So now this object page contains this page without CSS or JavaScript. So if we do inspect, we get this plain HTML. So more or less, all this information is kept inside this HTML page object. I can then query this object using XPath, for example, which is kind of like a searching mechanism inside of HTML. And in this case, I have my extract information method, which is simply gets the information and in this case returns a list of all my new year resolutions at this point. So, first, to actually get what we would like, we need to have a look at how it's actually set up on this specific web page because obviously, most web pages are built a bit different. So, as mentioned, if you right click on any web page and then click inspect, we get this like um, console with a bunch of elements where we can see the HTML and other stuff. But a uh, very nice feature is in this top left. We can click on this select option, which then allow us to click on any object on the web page and we can then find it inside the HTML. So, first, let's just click at the first new resolution. And we can see it is inside the H3 tag. And we have everything, all these new year resolutions, is inside H3 tags. With no classes, sadly, so we can't really find, we don't really have a class that tells us this is a new year resolution. It's just an empty H3 tag inside a interesting span. But I actually just think it is good enough that we know it's inside a pair H3 tag. So a pair H3 tag, we don't have anything else. So what we're simply doing, saying from this web page, get by XPath, this query tool, kind of. Look it up if you want to know more about XPath. Simply do get all H3 elements and then all the text inside the XH3 elements. So what we would simply do is we get this H3 element. And then in this case, the text is going to be one dot focus on passion, blah, 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 blah. For the next one, get this with the text. There's then one problem. There's quite a few, a few extra H3 elements. So for example, if I, instead of doing all this cleaning, just printed all the H3 elements, let me just showcase. I'm just gonna comment out some of the stuff. And in here, we're just simply doing get all H3 elements, the text inside them, and then create a new list where we're gonna put all the cleaned information so the information we actually need now we've been done cleaning it but for now let's just showcase if we just print our dom text so which is string so this is like the elements we get from our search so everything inside an h3 tag on our web page and we then print this to the console we will see that we first of all get a bunch of empty lines so we have a bunch of empty h3 elements all H3 elements that contain other stuff that's not text, so 
it can't be extracted by this search. Then have something just saying more by. Then we have all our New Year resolutions. And then we have some other login, sign up, reset password, and some empty lists. So what I saw when looking at this is that very simply all our New Year resolutions start with a number. So what we are going to do in this case, so this is very specific depending on my setup on my web page. So whenever you do this web scraping extraction, your web page is going to be different. So depending on how it's set up, you can do a different XPath search and a different way of cleaning your text. But what I simply do, is I first check, just for, because that's pretty good to do it, if my text is not null, so we actually have some text, and if the text is longer than zero, so we had a bunch of empty text strings, those are just straight up removed, we then simply check if the first character, so if our text to char at zero, so the first character in the string is a digit, so is a number, then we take this string, and add it to our resolutions list. By doing this, we simply just go through all the elements we found inside each three elements. If they're empty, they're removed. If they end up being null, they're removed. And if they don't start with a number, so if they're not part of my new year resolutions, they aren't added. And after doing this, we end up having a list with all my elements. So focus on passion, not the way you look, and so on, so on, so on. And maybe later on when I see kind of useless information, I might just change it from being a list like this and put it inside something like a CSV, comma separated value for file, and actually change it up a bit. So I'll probably remove the numbers and the spacings before the new year resolutions. But this is the basic concept of how we in Java at least can use HTML unit to connect a web page, remove CSS JavaScript. And then with XPath, we extract some information. We then kind of like clean our information or remove everything that's unnecessary for us. And we then end up with a list in this case of strings with some information. So if you enjoyed this quick showcase of how we can use Java to do web scraping, please leave a like and subscribe. And I wish you all a wonderful day.